this presentation is going to acquaint you with all the information that's housed in the Student Suite account. Now that you've already viewed the video on how to log on to Student Suite, let's go back to it. So to get into the Student Suite again, you're going to click on the Student Portal. And I won't go through the directions here. Go ahead and click on the Student Suite, of course. You know these steps already. And go ahead and log in. Once you complete the login directions, it'll take you to this main page. Okay. And let's take a look at some of the, the important features that you'll see. Again, if I click on any plus sign, that will expand any section. Okay, you see that? So I'm just going to do one section at a time. You'll see that your student records are here. This is where you will get your grades, okay, as a student. This is where you will also get a copy of your degree plan. And I really like this section because you can actually change to see. So we're looking at this we're looking at this particular student, it's a sample student here, and they are a freshman and they are majoring in chemistry. But this student can also change their degree plan. This is not official change, but you're looking to see if I change my degree plan from chemistry, let's say to I'm trying to find business, which is so different. I can select business. And it will pop up and show me how my degree plan then has changed. Remember, I have not officially changed it with the college. This is just a way for you to see what courses remain and what courses went away. Okay. And it also shows you, it gives you a sense of, you know, how far you have to go. Anytime you see something blank, that means you have to take that class. Okay. All right. So let's take a look. Your schedule will also be out here. So you can constantly, you can see what the current schedule for this student is right now. We're actually going to show you how to do your schedule. You can view your unofficial transcript if you have any recorded um, courses here at Lawson State. You can also request a transcript. Let's say that you want to um, transfer or take a course at a different college in the summer and you want to transfer over your your, um, your student records here at Lawson State, you can actually select another school, let's say in Alabama, and hit submit. And let's say that you wanted to transfer something to the Alabama University of um, Alabama a and University, you hit submit, and you just follow the prompts from there. This is also where you would come and get your midterm grades. Hopefully you won't have any midterm grades because we only record midterm grades for students who are failing. This is also where your steps for applying for, for graduation. So one of the things I want to highlight is remember, we're not going to send you a schedule or send you a degree plan. You secure all that on your own through here. Let's quickly go through this. Financial aid, one of my favorite sections here. You can view your financial aid receipts. Okay. You can also, which is my favorite, look at your status as a financial aid student. Let's kind of, let's pick up a term. Let me go back to that. I'm just going to, in a minute, you know, of course you want to pick the term that's appropriate for you. So this student has no financial aid, so they better get to their office quick, right, to find out what's going on with their financial aid, probably because they're still in pre-registration mode and they haven't completed everything. And notice this, we have not yet received your application for financial aid. Please contact the financial aid office. That's what I love about this site, because it will give you messages like that. Also, if they're missing, let's say you've applied for financial aid, but you're missing something, if you come here, it will show you what you're missing. So you can always go on your site and just kind of play around with what is um, what's in the financial aid area. Scheduling, one of the most important zones. This is where you would actually come to view any holes on your file. Now remember, you cannot register for a class unless, number one, you're a registered student here at Lawson State, and also you have no holes on your file. A hole could mean you had a parking ticket, but you never paid it. You checked out some library books, but you never um, paid the fine. You turned the books in, but you never paid the fine. 
the admissions office said they were listen they were looking for another transcript from another one of your schools and they never received it the business office might think you know you may owe five dollars in the business office it could be anything so you can click view holds and it will tell you whether or not you have any holds and that's great no current holds when you see no current holds that means you can go ahead and register and remember that's in a separate video on registration but this is where you would come one thing I do want to tell you about is this there's a difference between registration and complete registration these are two-step process registration is where you would go to actually pre-register you know select your courses Complete registration means that you are paying for your courses. Now, if you're a financial aid student, you can still do this online. You simply complete registration, follow the prompts, and that will apply your financial aid to your tuition. If you're a cash paying student, meaning you're going to pay by credit card or debit card, you can also click the complete registration and you can pay online. Lastly, is student information. You can view your information, which we always ask that you do, because you want to make sure that all your information that's here is accurate. Okay. Also, you can change your PIN code again. We did that at the beginning, but you can change it again. And um, you can view, and you can also modify your contact information. So you're viewing, and now I'm modifying my contact information. Right. So if there's anything that I want to change, I can go ahead and do that. My address has changed. My telephone number has changed. This is very important because this is the information that we have for you. So let's say that we wanted to send out an alert to you or send out a letter of importance to you. We're going to send it to this address. And if you've moved and you've never alerted the institution, that's not a good thing. Well, I hope that this brief tutorial has helped you to understand the importance of the student suite system and that you will use it frequently.